Hi everyone, in this episode I'm going to be talking about snorkel. Oh. And getting this right, not only will you not get fish going down the top of your snorkel, you'll not be sucking water through the bottom of it either. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andy Nob Diver and welcome to another video in the series of scuba diving tutorials where I'll be discussing the features of using a snorkel. If this is your first time here then, click the subscribe button below, that way you can see all the other previous content. And at the side of that, if you click the little bell icon, that'll give you a notification every time we post a new video. If you haven't got a YouTube account then, what are you going to do? Well, if you click this link up here, it'll take you to a video that we've made. That'll take you two minutes just to set up your own YouTube account. That way you can like, subscribe and comment on anybody's video that you watch. And make sure you stick around to the end where we're giving you my top tip. So I've gone through my dive kit and found three snorkels. They're all slightly different and enough for different sort of features and whatnot. So I'm going to cover them and gives you some kind of idea of what to look for when you're buying one. So if you buy just your generic cheap one from the local sporting goods shop, okay, chances are it's not gonna be up to par. If you went to a dive shop and bought one that was more specific, let's say, but slightly more expensive. So features you need to look for then are, you wanna look at the top and see if a fish can swim in and then you suck it in. Basically you wanna cover across the top to stop water and fish getting in. So the tops come in different formats. The most basic being an open-ended tube. This one's got louvers cut in it. So if any water was to splash over the top, it's likely to go in the top and come out of these little vent channels here. But what it won't stop is smaller bits of debris getting in, so bits of seaweed or just crap that's floating in the water. So the next option then is, is something with like a hooked top like this. So as stuff's floating around, it's not likely to get sucked up. But even better than that then, so we've got a caged guard around the top, which will stop bits of particles that's in the water getting in. And inside, is a little flap that moves up and down. So as the little flap inside gets submerged, it floats up and creates a seal so as water doesn't get into it. It's easier for you to breathe then when you come out of the water. The most Billy basic snorkel then is just a length of pipe that comes straight round to the mouthpiece, which is not very good if you do get any water in there at draining that water out. So what you need to improve that is a mushroom valve in the bottom. So any water that does get into the snorkel will sit in the bottom of here and every time you exhale, it'll come out through the mushroom valve at the bottom. How you can improve that then, is have one with two mushroom valves, so you don't have to blow as hard, or more water comes out. Third point to note then, is the mouthpiece. You want something that's comfortable, fits in your mouth, and isn't too obtrusive. The cheaper ones seem to actually be nicer in the mouth, because they're just a little bit that your back teeth bite on. Some of the more expensive ones seem to have this kind of mouthpiece that fits against the roof of your mouth. So for me, that's quite uncomfortable for my tongue. So I feel like I'm, I'm almost gonna gag as soon as I put it in my mouth, not very nice. So another thing you need to know is the length of your snorkel. Snorkels generally measure about 18 inches long. You don't want any shorter, you don't want any bigger. Reason being is you want one breath to clear what's in there, that way you're not bringing in exhaled breath every time you do breathe. Because otherwise, you're gonna go with the carbon dioxide that you've not correctly expelled. So the last feature we need to recognize on a snorkel is the clip. Some come with a little lever type hook like this. To me, there's not a lot of movement in it to get my mask under. It can't be unclipped really quickly. Better ones come with a little hinge. So you push the two buttons together and it pops up really easy and then snaps into place. They're the best ones for me. If I need to use my snorkel on the way out to a dive, for instance, on a swim out, and then I want to put it away so it's not a hazard to me or anyone else, I just simply press them buttons together, unclip it, that folds up, sits in my pocket for the dive. If I need it again, always bring it out and it's very very simple to clip in using this little mechanism whereas the hook one perhaps not so good so things about snorkeling then it's cheap and easy you can get kids into diving through snorkeling and you can go pretty much anywhere all you need is some form of buoyancy control so certainly a decent wetsuit thick enough that'll keep you suspended on the surface so my top tip then if you're underwater you don't need to keep your snorkel on there so you need to get yourself a, a good means of removal and a decent sized pocket so you can store it. It comes a bit of a hazard for getting caught on things. And then second of all, if you carry a snorkel in your kit, certainly for a swim out, it saves you breathing off that regulator, which depletes the air that you're gonna breathe at depth. So if you can save some of that by using a snorkel, clip one in, snorkel out to your point that you're gonna drop in, drop in with your regulator in and remove that snorkel, put it away. Top tip, happy days. So let me know in the comments below what kind of snorkel you use. And if any of the features that I talk about aren't on your snorkel, be sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series then, for which I'll post a link just up here. That way you can pick up loads of other top tips about being a scuba diver, which will help you save money, look cooler on the dive site, and ultimately be the best diver you can be. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. See you on Insta.